Hello everyone, and welcome back. Um, today we are going to start in our new module here, which is module, oops, sorry, I keep flipping back and forth here, there we go. <clears throat> Looking at logarithmic, ooh, functions. There we go. Okay, um, and we'll take a look at those here and with our new lesson here. There we go, okay. So, <clears throat> So this is a bit strange here, but let me kind of explain to you what they're asking for. So we're asked to evaluate each expression, uh, the first to have been completed for you. So we have this new function here, they're gonna call it, they call it the what power function. And you'll see that the what power function has two pieces to it. It's got this smaller two that's kind of like um, below the line. So like here, if like we were writing on this line right here, the two is kind of like almost through it, you know, kind of thing. And then the eight is on the line, the same line as the what power kind of thing, okay? Um, so you can see here that what power two, eight, like that, right? So what's the question here? This is really like asking what power of two is eight. <clears throat> and the answer is three because two to the third equals eight. So three is the answer. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, similar situation here. Again, the what power function. So we have a three and a nine. So again, this is like asking what power of three is nine. In other words, three to the what power equals nine. And again, in this case, there would be two because three squared gives you nine, right? If I put a square in there, okay? So in other words, these small numbers right here <clears throat> are the base of an exponential kind of question. And then these bigger numbers are like the answer, like what you're shooting for. So in this case, when we see what power of six is 36, it's gonna look like this. Six to what power, that's what this is right here, equals 36. Okay, and what is that? And the answer is two, right? All right, how about two and 32? So two to what power gives us 32? <clears throat> well, two times two is four, times another two is eight, times another two is 16, times another two is 32. So that's one, two, three, four, five twos multiplied together there. So it's five. <clears throat> okay, two to the fifth is 32. Um, okay, next one. <clears throat> what power of 10 is 1,000? So 10 to the what equals 1,000? Well, that's three, three zeros. Okay, how about one million? Well, there's six zeros there, so six. Okay, how about 100 though? Okay, so now I gotta think 100 to what power gives you 1 million? Okay. So this is gonna give us two zeros every time. So one, two, and then, well, one, two, and then three. So this is 10 to the, 100 to the third power. Okay. Um, four to what power gives us 64? It'll be four to the third. Okay. Two to what power? So why don't you guys go ahead and try some of these on your own? Actually, go ahead and pause the video. Try some of these on your own here. <clears throat> okay. Two to what power gives us 64? It's going to be six. Because two times two times two times two times two times two is 64. Right? This gives us eight. This gives us eight. And eight times eight gives you 64. Okay. Nine to what power gives you three? Well, to get nine to become three, you have to square root both sides. So you get one half, okay? A square root of nine equals three, so it's the same thing as nine to the one half power equals three, okay? Um, five to what power gives you square root of five? So again, five to what power gives you square root of five? Remember again, square roots are the same as an exponent of one half. So it'll be five equals five to the one half, so the powers are gonna be one half there. <clears throat> Okay, one half to what power gives you one eighth? Well again, just think here, what, could, what do you have to raise one or two to to get an eight or a one? The answer is three, right? It would be a, would be a three. Okay, 42 to what power gives you one? Yeah, what can we raise a number to to get the answer of one? It's gonna be zero, okay? 100 to what power gives us 0 0.01? Well, here it might be helpful if we rewrite that 0 0.01 as a fraction. 
one point zero zero one or sorry point zero point zero one is one over one hundred, which is the same thing as one hundred to the negative one, and so negative one is our answer there. Okay, um, what power of two is one fourth? So two to what power gives us one fourth? Again, it's helpful here to maybe rewrite that one fourth as one over two squared, which is the same thing as one or sorry two to the negative two. And so we get negative two there as our answer. Okay. All right, so the next one here, one fourth to what power gives us two? Okay, well here again, it's helpful to maybe like rearrange some things. This one's maybe a little bit trickier still. So um, one fourth is one over two squared equals two. And then one over two squared is the same thing as two to the negative two. And now if we think about this question mark here, maybe not as a question mark, but as a variable, like x. Okay, because that's what a question mark is. It's just an unknown number, so just like a variable x. We have a power raised to a power here, so this is the same thing as 2 to the negative 2x. And this right here is 2 to what power? It's just 2 to the 1. And now since we have this equation here, we have the same x, sorry, same base. They're both base 2, negative 2x and to the 1. And so we can just set negative 2x equal to 1. If the bases are the same and they're supposed to be equal, well, that means the powers have to be equal as well. So we can just set the powers equal. And so we get x equals negative 1 over 2 when we divide there. Okay, that one's a bit trickier. All right, last one. With your group members, write a definition for the function what power base b, where b is a number. And again, so <clears throat> this is just what we've been doing. So uh, we would have to really write something like what power... Um, base b of like a, okay, is the same thing as saying b to what, or equals x, we'll say. It's the same thing as saying b to the x is equal to a. b to this power gives you a, <clears throat> okay? We'll stop there, and in the next video, we will get some of these exercises done. <clears throat>